Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Frank's Harry has always been known for having a huge heart. He is one of the most giving members of the royal family and has a sparkling personality to match. Over the years, Harry has done more than his fair share of charity work, going above and beyond to truly make a difference in the world whenever and however he could. Bell reports that shortly after baby Archie was born, Prince Harry made a donation in his new son's name to go towards the construction of a swimming pool in Green Jota Bay, Mozambique. That is certainly not all Prince Harry has done. The Duke of Sussex spent 10 years in the military, and several years ago, he founded the Invictus Games, an event that focuses on sick or wounded military personnel. Over the course of a few days per year, they compete in nine sports, including wheelchair basketball, indoor rowing, and more. The Invictus Games is near and dear to Harry's heart, and for good reason. Let's talk about the one time that Prince Harry was a real-life knight in shining armor. Prince Harry had a wonderful military career. Royal fans are well aware of the fact that Prince Harry was in the military, serving his country with extreme dignity for years. According to Esquire, Prince Harry's time in the military also served as a way for him to escape the royal spotlight, at least for a while. He took several tours of Afghanistan after beginning as a recruit in the Royal Military Academy Sanders. There is no doubt that the decade he spent in the British military made the entire royal family more than proud, as Prince Harry never once flaunted his status as a prince. Instead, he did whatever he could in order to do his part. In 2006, it made headlines when his unit, the Household Cavalry's Blues and Royals, was sent to Iraq. Many people thought that it was a mistake to send Prince Harry, but he insisted that if his unit was sent, he was going to join them. Prince Harry created the Invictus Games. One of the most notable and selfless things that Prince Harry has ever done was to create the Invictus Games. The Royal Foundation reports that he found the inspiration after a visit to the United States in 2013, where he saw a similar event called the Warrior Games. Naturally, he loved the idea and wanted to recreate it on his own, which is exactly what he did. A year after Prince Harry's visit to the United States, the first Invictus Games was held in London and has been an annual event ever since. Prince Harry supports the Invictus Games, and just as we would expect, he has never missed the annual event. In fact, according to Town & Country, even though Prince Harry is stepping back from his duties as a senior royal, he has no intention of abandoning the Invictus Games or the other organizations and charities that he has supported over his years as a member of the royal family. Prince Harry visited the Copper Box at the Olympic Park to launch the Invictus Games, an international sporting event to support wounded and sick servicemen and women. I was in Washington in 2012. I met a small contingent of the UK team that was representing yourselves. And hearing the stories that came back from the games um, really sort of ignited something inside me that made me want to basically broaden this to, to a wider audience and therefore speaking to the, the relevant people from the uh, Royal Foundation um, insisted that I try to get myself there for 2013 which as you know uh, we made it. Um, I saw firsthand the power of sport in inspiring recovery supporting rehabilitation and demonstrating life beyond disability. Um, a group of inspirational people proving that anything is possible. But I wanted to bring this inspirational event to a broader and more international audience um, to increase the opportunity to others, for others to participate and to inspire many more who have suffered life-changing injuries either by taking part in the games or simply by watching it at home. Already, there's tremendous public support for the armed forces, and we, we're fully aware of that. Um, but we hope to capture the public's imagination 
following on from the hugely successful Paralympics. Finally, why do we need to do it? Or why do we need it? Well, to demonstrate the power of sport, to inspire recovery, support rehabilitation, and to demonstrate life beyond disability. It really is as simple as that. The story continues. The one time that Prince Harry was a real-life knight in shining armor. All of the amazing things Prince Harry has done never fail to make headlines. Yet, there is one thing that no one will ever forget, and it could even be thought of like the one time that Prince Harry was a real-life knight in shining armor. So, what happened? Well, according to People magazine, Prince Harry was at the trials for the Invictus Games when there was a strong gust of wind that knocked over a woman's wheelchair. Rather than stand back and let someone else help, he rushed to her aid to provide assistance and even made a few jokes in order to help bring a smile to her face. This is just one of the many reasons as to why we always have loved Prince Harry and always will. We have just received word from Meghan's best friend, fashion designer Misha Nanu. Meghan Markle's close friend, fashion designer Misha Nanu, has opened up about her wonderful and thoughtful royal pal. Pregnant Misha, who is launching her first maternity line, said that working with Meghan was so easy. The two friends collaborated on Meghan's collection that she launched with Smartworks, which launched in September 2019. Speaking of their time together, Misha called Meghan the, the ultimate professional and was very considerate of the people she was helping with the collection. She told Female, it was such an ideal, incredibly easy collaboration. It was, from start to finish, wonderful, thoughtful, considerate, as is she. The pals met through a mutual friend when Meghan was starring in Suits, and they got on like a house on fire. Speaking to the Evening Standard, Misha said of Meghan, I love her to death. She is the coolest girl in the world. New York. Based Misha's new collection includes pieces inspired by her signature Easy Eight Husband shirt, which Meghan famously wore during her first official outing with Prince Harry at the Invictus Games. The maternity line, in collaboration with celebrity maternity brand Hatch, includes a $218 tunic top and a $286 belted dress. Misha said of the collection that she got the idea when she fell pregnant with oil tycoon husband Michael Hess, who she married in Italy last year. She felt that she didn't want her style to change during this time, and she wanted to design pieces that were versatile for work and also for relaxing at the weekend. Misha said she also was conscious of sustainability and aimed to provide garments that could be incorporated into her postpartum wardrobe too. In 2013, Misha was named on Forbes' exclusive 30 under 30 list. She became the first fashion designer to debut a runway collection on Instagram in 2015 and exclusively shared her fall line on Snapchat the following year. Last month, the couple announced they were expecting their first child together in a holiday snap taken in Mexico. Meghan Markle's best friends forever Misha Nanu defends her against unjust criticism. A lot of the criticism has been unfair, don't you think? I think it's unjust and I think that, you know, people should really focus on the good work that they do. A prime example of that is this, you know, she, it's her first official engagement after having had her baby and, um, you know, it's all about empowering women. It's all about what she has essentially always sought to do. Um, and I think that people should really focus on, on the great work that they do. What's she like to work with? Um, she's been amazing. She's the consummate professional. She's been extremely hands-on in the project. It's something that she's really passionate about. The design details she really left for me to nail and then um, luckily she's very happy with it. So I'm, She is? I'm, yes, I'm happy. <laughs> it's like, phew. phew. Yeah, <laughs> phew. So there you have it. That's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you.
Don't stop.